An investment of D dollars at K percent simple annual interest yields $600 interest over a two year period. In terms of D, what dollar amount invested at the same rate will yield $2,400 interest over a three year period? So this sounds like a bit of a complicated question. One good thing is we are talking about simple interest. So simple is the simplest type of interest you can deal with on the GMAT because that means your interest should be the same amount every year. You do not need any sort of formula or anything to calculate it. So we have an investment of D dollars at K percent annual interest. We get $600 over a two year period. Since it's simple interest, that means we're getting $300 a year. So once we take our, um, our interest rate times our investment, that should give us $300 because this rate isn't for the whole two year period. That's just for a single year. So one thing I can do here is that if I know that I need $300 a year, I can sort of come up just with numbers for D and K. So uh, my investment, the easiest number is 1,000. So I'll say invested D dollars. Now I can't just make up my K here because I know that I need to be given a $300 a year. And so to do that, my K needs to be 30% interest. You can get that rate. I would take it. So K, remember K is not equal to 0.3 in this case, because K is just the nominal value here. So K is equal to 30. Um, in terms of D, what dollar amount invested at the same rate will yield $2,400 over a three-year period? So at 30%, I need to get $800 a year. So I want to know how much I have to invest. So let's call that uh, what X. And when I take 30% of X, I need to get $800. So that means my investment should be equal to 800 times 10 over 3. It does not look like this is going to be a round number. That's okay, though. 8,000 over 3. I don't need a round number because I'm just plugging in my values. I need to plug in my value for D here. So when I plug in 1,000 for D, the correct answer should be the one that gives me 8,000 over 3 as an answer. So this looks like it will be 2,000 over 3. Not our answer. 3,000 over 4. We can simplify this, but it doesn't look like it's going to be what we're looking for. 4,000 over 3, half, um, <laughs> 3D over 2 is, so what is that, uh, 3,000 over 2, that's 1,500, which is a round number, so that's not what we're looking for. This looks to be our guy, 8 times 1,000 over 3, so 8,000 over 3. So we probably could have got that just by giving our answer choices instead of going through each of them. E, 